Hey everybody, Rick Needham on Saturday, June the 14th, handicapping some major stakes events from three big tracks in the United States. Let's go to uh, Hollywood Park first, race 8, 4 o'clock p.m. Pacific post time for the round table handicap. 14 furlongs on the turf, 3 year olds and up racing for a stakes purse of $75,000. Contenders number 4, Poor Fido, number 5, Transduction Gold. Number seven, Bobo Man, and number two, Top This and That. Number four, Poor Fido, a Chilean bred entry, qualifies as a Trackmaster Plus Power Pony, is both the speed and pace profile leader in the stakes field, racing at or about today's marathon distance of 14 furlongs on the turf, has produced power run performances in five straight, hitting the board in four of those adventures, including a power run win in his fourth race back. Number five, Transduction Gold, scored with a power run win in his fourth race back, comes off a power run place finish in his last start, missing a circle trip in that race by less than a length. Race 8 summary, number 4, Poor Fido, tops my contenders list, which also includes number 4, Transduction Gold, number 6, Bobo Man, and number 3, Top This and That, 4562 in the $75,000 roundtable handicap. Off to Churchill Downs next in Kentucky, race 10, 5.51 p.m. Eastern Post Time. For the Stephen Foster handicap, nine furlongs on the dirt, grade one, three year olds, and up, racing for a stakes purse of $1 million. Contenders number one, Curlin, number four, Einstein, number 10, Brass Hat, and number nine, Barcola. Well, folks, last weekend's disappointment with the failure of the odds on favor, Big Brown, and the Belmont Stakes, I perhaps should have some trepidation with recommending number one, Curlin, the winner of the Breeders' Cup and the Dubai World Cup and Horse of the Year last year to win this one today. But once again, I guess like Big Brown on paper, he looks to be the strongest entry in this field today. He's won four straight with three of those victories also qualifying as power runs, goes to the post with the skills of the jockey-trainer combo of Robbie Alvarado and Steve S. Mewson in his corner. They fit the board with 51% of their entry saddles as a team to date. For your information, Alvarado has been in his irons on 10 previous occasions, nev never missing the board, winning seven times en route to a positive 104% return on investment in the process. The Brazilian bred entry number four, Einstein, a five to one shot, could be could, could prove to be a worthy challenger. He's won three of his last five, including a power run win his last time out. Race 10 summary, number one, Curlin, tops my contenders list, which also includes number four, Einstein, number 10, Brass Hat, and number nine, Barcola, one, four, ten, nine, and the tenth from Churchill Downs to grade one, one million dollar, Stephen Foster handicap. Off to Belmont Park and their feature on Saturday afternoon come in race 9, 5.16 p.m. Eastern Post Time for the Ogden Fifths Handicap. Nine and a half furlongs on the dirt, grade one, fillies and mares, three years old and up, racing for a $300,000 purse. Paired entry of number one, Spring Waltz, and number one, a Ginger Punch, top my contenders list, which also includes number three, Mooncatcher, number four, Golden Velvet, and number five, Cowgirls Don't Cry. Here in the 40th version of this handicap race, number one, Spring Waltz is the pace profile leader in this field, racing out of about eight and a half for lungs in the dirt, including back-to-back -back power run wins in her last two outings. Jockey Javier Castellano has been in her irons on three previous occasions, winning each on route to a positive 93% return on investment in the process. Castellano is back today for his fourth ride, gunning for the Grand Slam. The stable mate, number one, a ginger punch, may be even stronger. She hit the board in power on fashion in five straight, winning three times in this recent streak of racing consistency. Franco has tabbed jockey Rafael Bejarano to ride. Jockey trainer Tandem has hit the board with 59% of more than 150 entries, saddled as a team to date. Race 9 summary, the paired entry of one spring waltz in the stable mate 1A ginger punch tops my contenders list, which also includes number 3 mooncatcher, number 4 golden velvet, and number 5 cowgirls don't cry, 1345 in the ninth from Belmont Park, the $300,000 grade 1 Ogden Phipps handicap. I have some bonus long shots for you as usual, folks. Let's go to Charlestown first, race four, five to one shot. Number four, Royal Rahi is the overall speed leader in this climbing field today, sprinting at the specialized distance of seven furlongs on the dirt. Race at Louisiana Downs today as well, race three, the nine to two shot. Number three, Charismatic Nephew takes a two level computerized class drop as the speed leader in this field, sprinting at seven furlongs on the dirt. 
So from three major tracks, three major stake races on Saturday, June the 14th, Rick Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle reminding you once again to please bet with your head, not over.